together at home. I feel like also I need to keep reminding myself that I need to to center myself mm -hmm. because yeah. if I go backwards then, you know. Yeah. So you're obviously going to want weight in your toes, yeah. but not so much weight in your toes that you fall forward. But right. if you're going up a slight little, or going down in a uh, decline, uh -huh. falling forward is not so bad, right? Because you're like right. falling uphill. Yeah. Like once you get used to doing this, the next step would be like this. You guys can't hill. tell, but this is a really big hill. Yeah. <laughs> it just looks totally flat it looks in the video. Totally flat, but it's a big hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The, and the best part about this, like totally putting the stopping, like turning and transitioning and stopping aside, going down like a really big hill like this, uh -huh. and just you just light pressure like. Even we could do this, Patty. This yeah, is nice. Yeah, just kind of slow you just down, Just get, right? let gravity take you. So get to the point where gravity is taking you. Okay. And so that way you don't have to worry about, you know, propelling yourself backwards. You won't actually be fully skating backwards. You'll just like be I'm rolling. Free less. So get to the point at any time. <laughs> so even more, we're gonna keep going until you don't, you can Woo! just stand, right? So a little more weight on your toes. Are you rolling back now? Okay, there you go, perfect. Light and that breaking put foot, put uh -huh. it a little bit behind. You're staggering your stance still. Yes. Okay. So that breaking foot's going behind you, extend it back. Okay. Yes, more. If you can extend it back more, that would be good. Lunge, almost lunging. Oh. Yes, yes. And oh. then applying the pressure lightly uh -huh. lets you to still go. And then you, you learn that you have to also Turn backwards and look over your shoulder. Oh, but great. we're good. <laughs> Just yeah. Things. So there, that's your first step. Like that's what you should practice. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, going backwards, not having to worry about actually physically, like skating backwards. Right. I guess we'll put it up here now, so we don't have to. Okay. Have so tiny that would be the first thing. Getting used yeah. to doing that, like all the way down the hill. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So let gravity do the work of you, you skating backwards, okay. but um really concentrate on lunging, making a lunge, right? So as much as you can lunge is good. Like this is, you see, here my stance here. Right. Is a good amount of lunging. I feel like I'm doing that, but I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Do it as much as you think I was doing it. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Hi guys. Yeah. You want some uh, skating lessons today? <laughs> you, you would probably fall, but you wouldn't break your legs. Everybody falls. Yeah. So you can just go flat, stay in your lunging stance. Okay. Within comfort, right? Oh, okay. And just put your, put your feet flat. What do you mean my feet flat? Let yourself roll. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay, good. Now put your skates, yeah. Yep, perfect. Now let yourself roll again. And here you're going over like a little thing in the concrete, but that's okay. Roll back and break. It really is a matter of like, okay, I'm gonna be okay. Mm hmm. You know? Yeah. And I think having that like slight decline takes the stress out of having to like propel yourself backwards right. out of it, and you're just focusing on your balance right. and applying the toe break. So doing this helps you going up and over a bridge. Oh yeah. Right. Like yeah, like there's a, you know, rapid transit trail here. Yeah. And there's a couple of bridges where you okay, yeah, you're getting up them and you're just like making it, but then you get to the top and you're like, oh shit. Oh shit, it does. It's super not way. safe to be just using the rail to try and like go forward and like hold on to the rail yeah. as you go down. Yeah. So easy for your like skate to slip out from underneath you. Yeah, for sure. So the best, safest way is to go down backwards with your toe stop. And if you want to, you can like hold on to the rail, but you're not being controlled by the rail. Right, right. right. Heel down. Okay. Yes. Oh, see, it helps yeah. if you hold my hand. You guys, you guys should all get Jill to come hold your hand. <laughs> Woohoo! Wow. Glad you're going so much faster. Well, that's because you're right here. <laughs> oh, you're good. Keep that foot back. Yeah. 
Make sure that that breaking foot is I always know. back. Don't let it go forward. Then you'll, if you don't lunge, you will fall backwards. Because just imagine how that would be standing right. straight and going down the hill. I think we're pretty much at the bottom of the hill, so. Wow, wow, okay. Wow, pretty impressive. Yeah. You did it. Ish. Okay, that was awesome. You're a good teacher. Thank you. Oh, there's something about the contact with the ground. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the, the fact that you're right in touch. Yeah, it's very grounding. Yeah, it really is. It's like running, but like way more fun. And less, <laughs> it's less jostling. Like yes. Yeah, you don't have to worry about your jiggly bits. <laughs> going slow so I look fast. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. You give me too much credit. You think I can control my speeds? <laughs> about 